everybody. We're moving right along again. Oh, in case you don't know me. Hi, Mayor from Countryside Eggers. And that's Wes, also from Countryside Eggers. Look, he's even sporting our toques. Like, not a toque, though. That is a filthy hat. We've actually ordered some new hats. We've got new merchandise. If anybody's interested in that, please drop her down in the comments below or email us and uh, we can get you fixed up. What else do we got? We got some shirts. What else? Mugs. What else? What'd you make? And outfit banks. They're piggy banks. That's what they are. Anything else? Um, we got yo-yos. Yo-yos and? Tops. And tops. What do you mean tops? Like shirts? That's a top. The spinning top. We got all sorts of little fun stuff. Little spinning tops, little yo-yos. Uh, and then, yeah, shirts, like you said, caps, and mugs. That's all we ordered, I think. I believe so. So if you would be interested in any of that, well, of course, we're going to make the syrup. I don't know if we can ship that in the mail. But if you're interested in any of that, let us know. As far as the motorhome series is going, we've got everything done back here. The lighting is horrendous. Because it's dark. But everything's ready. We just got to clean up and put the bunks in. And then we'll give you a grand tour of that. On this side, I've got a little bit extra wood done here. Some trimming. Because I need to be able to put a piece over top of here yet. I put this little bar in here to hold this guy when it slides across. Because it needs something to sit on. So now I can sit on this guy. Pinch my fingers, but there I can sit on there and I can stand on here. That is solid. Lift this up. Oh, I've seen shown them that lots of times. What we've got in there though is a box of these. So, what I ended up doing is drilling holes in this perfectly good table because there's no cup holders. Woo! So, I bought these off of Amazon. Might be able to drop a link for them if I can find it. Put holes in here so that we would have cup holders. I measured this to fit. It'll work for a bottle of water, but also we have some stainless steel cups that we use regularly, and they fit in there perfectly. Obviously not for a coffee mug. But while we're driving, kids will be sitting here. They can each have a drink. It's meant for four kids here right now while they're doing their homework. Uh, we're still waiting for this countertop to come. Local guys at the hardware store. I got her ordered. Hopefully it's coming. I think they said two weeks, so it should be another week maybe. And then I'll put some holes in it as well. The only other thing to do here yet, up in the front, we've removed the TV. We don't watch TV. We never watch TV. So we've taken the TV out, figured this space could be used for something else. I'm gonna build a plywood box in here and maybe a shelf in it, I don't know yet. I'm gonna put something in here. Also this mirror, we took this mirror off of that wall. We gotta make coat hooks there and the mirror would get covered then anyway. So I took this mirror off and it actually fits perfectly over top of here. So I'm going to build that. One of the next projects. The blower motor here was shot. I don't know if you remember that. When I first picked it up, it was squeaking. The bearings were out. I've got a new one of those coming. Should be here next week as well. Um, what else? Oh, there was a VHS in here. We took that out. Uh, we're going to use this for our Starlink internet. Somewhere i got to put the router, so it may end up going in the front boxes. Reason being that this is an inverter, so then the router would work uh, all the time. I don't have to have the Jenny running, because this will convert the 12-volt power from our batteries to 110. So that'll be in there. I'm going to fix this guy up yet. Close that back up. I'm going to probably put a new radio in. This is the original one that came with it, but it's, uh, well, I don't know. Depending on how you touch the button, it sometimes shuts off, and it does funny things. And I have two other ones, so we'll probably do that up. What else? Uh, I got new tires coming, six new tires coming. Oh, seat belts, that's the other thing. We want seat belts, and legally we need to have seat belts for all passengers. So I've got those ordered. There was three from, uh, from the motorhome that I took out of the couch. And I've ordered how many more? Seven more. So there'll be enough for ten in the dinettes, and then, of course, the front two chairs already have seat belts. So we're going to install those. Um, yeah, can't think of what else we need to do. Oh, yeah, I was going to build a cupboard in the bathroom yet. There's nowhere for towels, so i got to build a cupboard in there yet as well. But we're getting closer to the end of it. Hopefully by the end of next week, we'll have this project all wrapped up. This happens regularly. I uh, pulled this camera out for a reason, and I never even filmed the whole reason. So the whole point was this little cat door. 
that we took out of a cat crate. Now I know it doesn't fill the whole hole, but that's okay. The whole point is just to keep the dog from running out of there. So she's not going to fit out of there, and it actually works. We can hinge it. She'll be able to fit in there, and in and out, and it closes. And what I used, we had some stainless straws. I couldn't figure out how I was going to hinge this, so we had some stainless straws here that we cut a chunk off of, bent one end, and screwed it in. And I didn't want to do that here because I don't want to hurt her feet. So this is just a uh, a button, actually. A upholstery button with a screw in it. For the bottom. And the top. Oops. Can't close it and do this at the same time. It goes in that hole of the straw. And the bottom is in here. And this side is hinging on there. Works great. So there's actually more room in there than it looks like. Her current dog crate is probably a hair smaller than that the only thing is the height it's not real tall but i mean the idea is that she's laying down anyway she'll crawl in there to go to sleep and um, then she's welcome to come out most of the time the door will be open but in the event that we uh i don't know need to lock her up we can close the door so that's what i wanted to show you i got that part done so bit by bit we're getting there and then we got to put all these cushions in we do have the uh, we have the cushions for quite a while already. They're laying on the ground there, and we got the covers now. But we want to put kind of like a I don't know. This has fabric on it already. We'd like to do something like that and then put the covers over. All right. So this notch, so from this cupboard to the edge of here, is 11 inches, so that the fabric would sit straight in line with this. This is 11 inches, and then this one I think was 43 inches. And that was something else, 36. Let me double check that. Yes, 43 inches down from the ceiling, and 36 inches from the floor, and 11 inches in here, this way, would line up with this. Okay, what I'd like to do here is take this guy right out and move him to here, which then allows me to use that whole area for your toilet paper rolls and I would open this take this whole panel out so it would be a shelf from there up and you can put X amounts of toilet paper rolls in I have no idea how I would put a door on that so I would just skip the door idea at the moment unless I can think of a small enough door that it can actually swing all the way open but otherwise I would skip the door hey back in the camper again look we can do this hi I don't know why I would do that, but and I could. Anyway, we're back in the camper. A little cool yet. Just turned the heater on, so I'm dressed up nice and warm. Uh, I'm planning on doing some modifications in the bathroom. There was a garbage can here. Just took that out. Now, there's nowhere to store any toilet paper or nothing like that, so we're hoping to make a bit of a cupboard in here. You can tell there's room. I'm going to move this holder over to here, and then I'm going to try to build a cupboard in here, maybe with a sliding door so that we could get well Anissa would like a sliding door in here anyway and then we can stack this full of toilet paper and then down underneath here we would like to put a shelf somewhere to put some towels we were talking about maybe building a cabinet up here but then it's going to block this guy we don't want to do that we're probably going to build some kind of racking or something there for like washcloths and stuff but then down underneath here i'll just build one shelf in here we can stack up a few towels at least if we each have one towel should be more than enough for that uh, also this week i have a whack of stuff coming i guess the seat belt should be coming so we can get those installed uh, a bunch of things for the solar power we're going to get installed uh, what else is coming lots of things so we're going to carry on working on this and hopefully have it kind of ready to go in another week or so also the tub here we started peeling all the old caulking out wasn't holding that well anymore so we're gonna finish that up and then I'm gonna recock that all the way around and I think that was it in there the shower curtain looked like it's probably still good oh an outside wash area so we have this in here I did notice there's another one I don't know if this is leaking or why this this guy is down here maybe it was no good I'm not sure our camp trailer actually had an outside wash area although we've never used it it would be handy for you know washing your feet off or uh, you could set up an outside shower uh, maybe washing some fish you caught I don't know whatever whatever you want to wash and we talked about setting that up on this 
motorhome as well on the outside just so there's even access to water so that's something I would like to do too I'll probably tie in with these lines they drop down through the floor back there and so from outside it'd be easy to reach and then um, we could set up kind of a wash wash area at least to have water access it doesn't have to have a sink or nothing like that so yeah lots of little things the lighting is horrendous here but you can see what I've got I've got the toilet paper hole removed now and I built a cupboard in here that now opens and closes yeah and it's closed in side so we can stack some toilet paper in there now and close it up voila so now I need to build a shelf in here yet is one of my next steps and in the back bedroom here I gotta put we talked about this already earlier but I'm gonna put another sheet up like this guy over here so that it'll be deep enough out here we can put school books but that's in the the bunks there in the bedroom there was some confusion there too so this is a bottom bed here so number one number two and number three some people were uh, asking me about that where's the third bed so it's down here it looks small but it's not really because the mattress sits right there so they have from that piece of wood to here and this one here the mattress is up yet okay because it sits on top of these slats and same as this one so they all have the the same size bunk other than the ceiling is slightly sloped here so there's a little bit more space here at the front but not at the back Anyway, gonna do that here so we have somewhere for school books. All of our stuff so these kids can still learn while we're driving. They gotta keep learning. Keep on learning. I got this thing here. Warning, to avoid danger <laughs> of suffocation, keep this bag from babies and children. Nope. Step away from the You guys got to get out of the motorhome. It's dangerous. Why? You I have to look through the window. The other day. <laughs> All right. On a different day. I got this. I don't know what's going to happen. Is it going to blow up? Something up. Is it going to pop? Hmm? It's probably going to go... I don't know. Do you want to stand there if it does? I have no idea. All right. Oh, <laughs> look at it. It's sealed. Oh. <laughs> All that work cutting that sticker off. Okay, well, hang on. I got this opening thing. Look, they set this for one of our beds. And I think it's meant for opening this. Look at it. It looks like, like one of those old milk bag openers. It does. Yeah. All right, so let's see if it works. I'm guessing it goes in here. There's a, there's a, yep. a bunch of, what's it called? They're almost like they're, oh yeah. Does it work? Well, maybe. Well, we're not in yet. <laughs> I feel like, I don't want to poke them. Should have had your phone. The pixels are terrible on this one. There we go, it's working. Okay, can you open this one? What's it gonna do? I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Stay away from it, it says. It's like the suspense is killing me. 
Yeah, it's not doing much yet. It's not like exploding or nothing. No, I figured it was going to go through. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to go through. It's all wrapped, see? Like, it's the plastic's all through. I thought for sure it was just plastic on the outside. Oh, but remember? it's like plastic oh. all through. Remember, do you remember, do you remember when... Interesting. Right? I thought it was going to just go like those other mattresses from Walmart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is still vacuum packed in there. Yeah. It says oh, stay not, away from these beds. Then um, why are you so close, young man? This is, this is bouncy, huh? Oh, maybe if you no. stick your head in no, here, then you can't breathe. <laughs> no. Hey, it's got like a little. Uh, it's got a cover on it too. Look at how thick, look at how like like much room there is in this. Oh, it's gonna fill that right it's up. It's gonna fill that right up. What is the mat? Is there mattress? springs in this or just foam? No, it's just foam. Oh yeah. Like it says to wait seventy two hours, um, before you. Oh, like, so we're not going to see any action right now. Like it'll take about seventy two hours to get to the the exact size of it or whatever. Wow, I'm not but filming. But I was expecting it to go boom. I'm not filming Me for 72 too. hours. I thought it was going to go. We need a time lapse. We can, we can watch it on time lapse. Yeah. Oh, not, wow. Papa, okay, I'm filming look, it, look at, look at, look at. It's already got a little bit of dirt on it. So oh. In oh. the pantry, there's the covers in the box. And the memories. River's going to cry when you're going, going. Gone, gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you're gone.